So we get out our potatoes. This is that wonderful potato pie that we made earlier today. And we had it cooking in the oven. It took a total time of 40 minutes. I cooked it 20 minutes on one side, then we flipped it over and I cooked it approximately 20 more minutes on the other side. And what we'll do is we'll just ease that out of there. I don't want to bust it. We'll just ease that onto the cutting board. And cut it up just like a pie. Put it in there. Okay. My name is Scott Boslevich and today we're going to be making a potato pie with gorgonzola cheese and peppercorns. And the first thing you want to do is you want to, you want to crush up your peppercorns so we get all the flavor out of them. And all I'm doing, all I'm doing is putting a little bit of pressure on them to get them to crack. You have to be careful, they'll fly around on you, they're around. Might have to crack up a few more, but that's how you do it. Or you can put them in your pepper pepper grinder. If you have a pepper pepper mill. I'm going to sprinkle these in, and as we layer the pan, the pan with potatoes. This is a this is a nice gadget. This is called a mandolin, and it's going to slice up our potatoes really fast and really thin for making our potato pie. You want to slice them nice and thin. See how fast that is. One thing you want to do is make sure you use the safety precautions because these blades are sharp. You don't need to draw any blood for dinner tonight. Then you take the slices of potato and you just line them around a Pam sprayed pan, overlapping them as you come around the pan. I like to use Yukon Gold potatoes, but you can use red potatoes or even even your Idaho's. They'll all work. I think the Yukon Golds are a little bit sweeter and they have a nice yellow color to them, which adds to it a little bit. There we have one layer. I'm going to put a few peppercorns down. I'm going to put a little bit of pensy, uh, spicy seasoned salt. And a little bit of gorgonzola cheese. Just because those guys can't ever have enough cheese, I'm going to grab the Parmesan. a little parmesan in there too because it'll help hold all the layers together and it's going to add a little bit more flavor okay i'm going to put another layer of potatoes make sure you use all your potatoes up because you paid for them at the grocery store we don't want to waste anything When you put the first layer on, I always like to use the real pretty potatoes, so that way when you flip it over, you have a nice presentation. I'll slice up a few more. 
get this potato pie going so we can get it in the oven. I turn the oven on to preheat to 350. Kind of like dealing cards. You just come around each layer and move in a little bit. Okay. We're gonna put the Parmesan cheese, peppercorns, gorgonzola. And potatoes. I want to lay these in there nice and flat so that when it all cooks, it'll stack up just like a stack of cards. This will be enough potatoes that if you cut it into fourths for four to eight people, depending on how big a piece you give them. Keep pressing it down, and then we're going to repeat the process. Cheese, Parmesan, and the peppercorns that I cracked before. All I did was release a little bit of the flavor, make them a little bit smaller pieces to eat, and put another layer of potatoes on. Gold potatoes have a nice creamy, buttery flavor to them. They're really delicious if you have never tried them. It's going to make our pie just wonderful here. And it's so easy. It's something you can put in the oven and forget. Set a timer. Before you know it, it's done and your, your steaks are done on the grill or your venison's done on the cooking and you can start serving it up. I'm going to put a little bit of regular pepper on here too just to give it a little bit more pepper flavor and some seasoned salt. And the peppercorns. And there we go, we have our potato pie. And what you want to do is you want to you want to give it about 30 minutes at least before you're going to plan on eating. It should take anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to put it in for about 20 minutes and we'll check it. See how that it's cooking down there. Set the timer. And there we go. Potato pie is in the oven ready to go. Alright, we're going to check on our potato cheese pie and see how it's doing. There's the timer for it. Wow, oh, that's looking pretty good, don't you think? It smells good too. What we're going to do is take the lid. And we're just going to flip this over. slide it back in the pan. Now this way we can add a little bit more cheese to it.
little gorgonzola, a little parmesan. We'll brown this side up as well. Some more black pepper. Back in the oven. Give it another 15 minutes. So we get out our potatoes. This is that wonderful potato pie that we made earlier today. And we had cooking in the oven. It took a total time of 40 minutes. I cooked it 20 minutes on one side, then we flipped it over and I cooked it approximately 20 more minutes on the other side. And what we'll do is we'll just ease that out of there. I don't want to bust it. We'll just ease that onto the cutting board. You cut it up just like a pie. Put it in there. You know, enough for four people there. We have our oven roasted asparagus, our Jack Daniels steak, and our gorgonzola potato pie. These are all things that we put together today. Nothing was that difficult. And this is easily something that you can prepare for your family. And it would help you use up some of the deer meat that You won't believe how great you can cook wild game by watching our professional chefs. Thanks for watching the Wild Thing Show Cooking Wild Game. This Enjoy. is Rich McNutt. Enjoy.